Ni ha. Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, let me begin by uh, thanking Premier Lee for uh, his uh, incredibly warm welcome, uh, but also for the quality and caliber of uh, exchanges we've been able to have uh, both yesterday and today. It's a tremendous honor for me to be here today. As you know, our Canadian delegation is here in China for an official bilateral visit as well as the G20 summit alongside our international partners. But it's great to be starting this trip here in Beijing, and we look forward to traveling to Shanghai, Hangzhou, and Hong Kong in the days ahead. On behalf of our entire delegation, I wish to thank you all for a very warm welcome. This year marks 45 years of diplomatic relations between Canada and China. My father, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, played an important role in establishing a partnership between our two countries when he was Prime Minister. So I'm very happy to be extending that effort now. Together, we can deeper the Canada-China relationship for the benefit of both of our peoples. And that starts with the important work that we've done today. I had a very productive meeting with Premier Lee. We discussed how we can work together to create jobs, strengthen both of our economies, uh, help our growing middle classes, and grow the economies in general. Let me highlight just a few of the things that we will accomplish in the coming years. First, we will create a regular mechanism for dialogue between our two countries at the highest levels and on a full range of issues, including national security and the rule of law. Second, we will expand trade and investment. Initiatives in areas like energy, clean technology, and agriculture are just the start. Third, we will take concrete steps to improve our people-to-people -people ties. This includes efforts to increase tourism and to expand cultural cooperation and exchanges. And fourth, we will work together on issues of common concern. This will involve closer cooperation on climate change and environmental conservation, as well as judicial training, gender equality, and the empowerment of women and children, as well as support for United Nations peace operations. Renewing our relationship with China is extremely important for Canada. Until now, the Canada-China relationship has somewhat lacked in stability and regularity. But we know that China will play a central role in shaping the global landscape in the years to come, and it is in both of our countries' best interests to develop a stronger partnership, one that is grounded in mutual respect and in the paramount importance of free and frank discussion. Nous comprenons qu'une grande partie de l'immense potentiel de la relation entre le Canada et la Chine reste encore inexploitée. Au cours des prochaines années, nous travaillerons de près pour créer les meilleures opportunités possibles pour les Canadiens de la classe moyenne et pour leurs entreprises. We realize that there is tremendous untapped potential in the Canada-China commercial relationship. We will work closely in the years ahead to create the best possible opportunities for middle-class Canadians and their businesses. We also share common ground in our desire to be leaders in the global clean growth economy, and we recognize the importance of innovation in achieving that goal. So today, we've taken crucial steps in building on this important partnership. By opening the doors to an ongoing, open, and honest dialogue, we can and will create the conditions for a better future for the people of Canada and for our friends here in China. Thank you. Xie Xie.